Hey, hey, this is LaToya, and I'm back with another dash. So, it snowed yesterday, yay. And it's April 22nd today, and it snowed yesterday. But that's Ohio. Um, I don't think we're in the clear until like May. I think by May, we shouldn't see any more snow here in Ohio, but who knows. <laughs> so, I'm here at Chick-fil-A, and I have an order to pick up. Let's go. Okay, I have an order for Golden Girls Restaurant. It also says Flavors on the Vine Restaurant, so I don't know if the name just changed or not, but I'm about to pick up that order, and I also have an add-on order for Papa Joe Subs. So, here we go. Okay, so I went in the restaurant, and they said that they don't do DoorDash. And now that I think about it, I remember coming here when it was Flavors on the Vine restaurant and they said the same thing, but they still get orders through DoorDash somehow. But um, I remember coming here like it had to be maybe a few months ago or something, but I forgot that I was here. So I had to cancel that order because they don't do DoorDash orders, um, but I still have the Papa Joe subs order to pick up. So let's go. Okay, y'all, so my true, uh, the true people that watch my videos, like all the time, they know about this train that always stops me from being great. And one of my subscribers, I'll put their name here, they mentioned to name this train the Choo Choo of Doom. So I'm going to name this the Choo Choo of Doom. <laughs> the Choo Choo of Doom is here. It's stopping me from being great. <laughs> Okay, I have an order for Jersey Mike subs, so let's go. Okay, I'm here at P&B Thai and Pizza. Um, this is my first time here. I've never been here, so hopefully the food is ready. Um, I still have 10 minutes until the pickup time. So I'll go in in a few minutes. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so I waited about two minutes after the last recording. Um, so it was still eight minutes before pickup time, but they had the food waiting right on the table. So that's a good place to go. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm here at Rally's and I have an order to pick up. And it's only like two miles away, I think. So, let's go. Welcome to Rally's, how may I help you? Uh, hi, I have a DoorDash order for Ebony. You can pull around. Thank you. Okay, I have an order for Wingstop, so let's go. Um, it's gotten sunny outside, like the sun is out now, so I got my cold open, like, yeah, so it's still only like 43 degrees, but with the sun, it makes a big difference. So, I'm digging that. Let's go. Okay, so while in Wingstop, I got an add-on order for Marco's Pizza. I didn't see how far Marco's Pizza is because the mileage wouldn't pop up. I don't like when it does that, but I'm hoping it's not far away from this first location. We're gonna see. Okay, I just delivered the first order, the Wingstop order, to a worker at Bob Evans. 
and I think it's funny when I deliver to other restaurants I know they probably get a discount and I know they get tired of their own food you know working there all the time and stuff I just think it's funny so let's go on to the next delivery oh and the delivery that I couldn't see the mileage for it's only it says 10 minutes right now but when I get out the parking lot it's probably gonna go down to like eight minutes so if it was any longer than that I'd be salty but let's go okay y'all I'm here at McDonald's I'm in the drive through line the lobby is closed and the line is kind of long so hopefully it doesn't take too long Okay, I have an order for Panera Bread, and let's go. Okay, I have an order for Giuseppe's Pizza and Subs, so here we go. Okay, y'all, so I walked in, and they said that deliveries for delivery drivers are at the side door so I'm at the side door now and uh, they said it's about five more minutes and they'll bring it to me to the car so so I'm gonna wait this five minutes okay y'all so there was a bit of a boo-boo with my last order so, um, okay, I showed that I had to um, park by the side door of the restaurant in the last clip that I showed you. So I waited there a good, like, 10 minutes for the order. They brought it to me to the car, and I just took their word for it that it was the right order. I didn't even look at the tag. People always look at the tag. That was my mistake. It's a whole nother name on the tag. So I deliver the food and she's like, thank you. And then before I drive off, she looks in the bag. She's like, this is the wrong order. You know, she's like, she didn't have desserts and different stuff that was in the bag. So then I realized that's a whole nother name on the tag and I gave her the wrong order. So for the restaurant person that gave me the food, they messed up and I messed up by not double checking the order. So I have this food in my car and it's mine because for me to bring it back to the restaurant that's unsanitary i mean anything could have happened in between with the trip so i have the food and that's that it happens but yeah i know to always look at the receipt i usually do but it was just weird me sitting at the side door for 10 minutes that just threw off my whole flow of how i usually do things so yeah i feel bad about that but but I have a double order for Bob Evans and I forgot the other restaurant. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm back at Applebee's and I have an order to pick up. There's a $3 promo going on right now. It started at five, it's like 5.30 now. So I'm already at 100 doing this order. Um, I'm trying to go for 150, so this will help a lot. Let's go. Okay, y'all, I waited like 20 minutes for the second order because I had a double order for Applebee's. And I'm like, I'm not waiting no longer. It was a $10 and $9, so that was good money. But I have one of the orders, and I'm about to deliver.